F-35 stealth fighter can act as a missile defense system. The director of the Defense Department's Missile Defense Agency, MDA, has promised that the multi-purpose stealth fighter will be able to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles. Speaking to lawmakers from the Senate Appropriations Subcommittee on Defense this week, MDA Director Lieutenant General Samuel Greaves said that pending funding for a ballistic missile defense interceptor, the F-35 would gain the capability to shoot down enemy strategic missiles. I'd say six to seven years to essentially work out the concept of operations and develop the capabilities whether it's sensor-based or a new fast missile that's hung on the bottom of an F-35 for the ballistic missile defense system, mission to integrate those capabilities, test them and deliver them into a theater of operations, the officer said. Representative Duncan Hunter, Republican California, said last month that it's possible for the F-35 to shoot down missiles from anywhere with its Raytheon AIM-120 advanced air-to-air -air missiles, AMRAMs, just seconds after takeoff. It's like an act of God, Hunter said. You have F-35S, you have AIM advanced air-to-air, -air, and you can shoot these things down as they go up. Boeing's F-15 could also be used if it had the right sensors but the stealthy fifth generation F-35 already has key sensors installed, Aviation Week noted. In particular, Northrop Grumman has developed the F-35S infrared and slash UAC-37 sensors that serve as an aircraft and missile warning system and the jet's fire control radar. The company has been testing the sensors on ballistic missiles for several years, according to the report. Tom Lawhead, head of the Air Force Joint Strike Fighter Integration Office, agrees with Hunter and told Aviation Week that the technology is feasible with the F-35. Northrop would need three years from starting integration to achieve full missile defense potential. Northrop has tested a ground-based system coupled with a radar-enabled aircraft in 2014 as a proof of concept, and Missile Defense Agency Deputy Director Rear Admiral John Hill told Aviation Week that the F-35 along with lasers and drones are under consideration for the ballistic missile defense. Boost phase defense has been the goal of missile defense experts for decades as existing systems are geared toward latter phases of a flight path. Raytheon's Patriot system is useful against conventional weapons and works by intercepting missiles in the low atmosphere in their final approach toward the target, or terminal phase. Lockheed's Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System is designed to shoot down short and medium range ballistic missiles only. But ICBM will deliver multiple warheads and decoys making terminal defenses less effective. F-35 developer and manufacturer Lockheed Martin has been promoting the plane as a possible interceptor for years, but officials at the Pentagon previously declined to offer a time frame on how long it would take to make this happen, and its cost. Greaves noted that the new capability for the F-35 would be if not a game-changer, then a significant contributor to future ballistic missile defense. According to the MDA agency sees the F-35 as one alternative to the classic missile defense system such as the Patriot, THAAD or the US's ground-based interceptor system. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.